passing the cat test yet. Or maybe it does pass the cat test, he doesn't chase after it. He's a serious hunter. Exactly. So here's my lovely Brompton. I'm going to try out this blaze light on it. So I've taken the screw out of the connector. I'm going to try it with the biggest one on here because this um, adapter here is quite thick. It should go around my thin Brompton handle down here. So I'll just wrap that around and then put the screw in the bottom. You need two hands for this. Just wrap it around there. Oops. Drop the screw. Get that screw fitted in there. So the light's going to point that way. And it's up on top. I'm going to take, do it in by hand at first. And I've got the IKEA tool here to just tighten it. And what it suggests to do in the instructions, yes, I did read the instructions, was to not fully tighten it, but just make it sort of loose and then put the light on there and adjust it from there. Um, but having read the instructions, I'm going to try it anyway by tightening it, since I need two hands for doing this anyway. And this is the time I've got it. I'll just tighten that up a bit. Now what I do notice right away is that it's not a, a solid fit on there, but maybe that's just because I've not got it fully tightened. Now that is the thickest rubber that can go on there. And there's quite a lot of gap in there on the Brompton. And it's still quite a lot of play, even though that's done up quite tight. So maybe the fit for a Brompton isn't quite the best. That seems to be sticking out a fair bit, that screw. Even though I've done it pretty tight. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be solid on there. It just all that rubber seems to make it move around. So I'm not quite sure how well that will last over time, but we'll give it a go anyway. Let's see. Now we'll fit our blaze light after a little bit of a charge. It just clips in there, he says. There it goes. Point it down a bit. So it does move around. It does play quite a fair bit there, actually. It's not a tight fit on the Brompton. It could be that the, the, this bar is just so small of a diameter that it's too small for what this light fixing is, which would be a bit of a disappointment on a Brompton. But we'll have a go. Cat is back. Hello. Coming for the cycle ride. I've got a couple of these uh, wonderful things off eBay. They look like key fobs, but in actual fact, they're little miniature cameras. You just press that there and it turns on, and within seconds it should be recording when it starts flashing. There it goes. I put a little Velcro mount on the front. And so now we've got a little camera beside the blaze light to see what it looks like on the ground. So it's a somewhat bumpy road. And you notice more going down the hill that you come back up more slower. The lights that bounce around a bit. It certainly is entertaining for me as a ride. Whether people in the cars are on the pavement see it, I'm not sure. Well, I see it, but whether they figure out that it's actually a picture of a bicycle or not. Yeah, 